Today I'm here with a comparison between the first three Android 3.0 Honeycomb tablets that are going to be available. The Motorola Zoom, the LG Optimus Tab, which is also going to be known as the T-Mobile G Slate in the United States, and the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Each of these tablets will be on sale soon and have their own strengths and weaknesses, so let's take a look. To start with, we have the Motorola Zoom. I had some hands-on time of the Zoom at CES last month and came away very impressed. The hardware is undoubtedly solid with a 10.1 inch display with a resolution of 1280 x 800 along with an impressively small bezel. You also will find support for Verizon 3G along with the ability to upgrade to 4G later on in the summer. There also should be a Wi-Fi only model which should be available in spring. Some of the smaller touches include a user replaceable battery which is certainly a great addition along with a slot for a micro SD card. It also features a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a 5 megapixel rear facing camera along with HDMI out for outputting up to 1080p video on a high definition television. The Zoom has a 1 GHz dual core NVIDIA 2 processor along with 1 GB of RAM which gives it more than enough power to run Android 3.0 Honeycomb. Speaking of the operating system, it runs a pure stock version of Android just like the other two tablets which should mean faster updates to future firmwares. The biggest question with the Zoom is price. Most rumors peg it at around $800 for the 32GB 3G model, which while I don't think is a deal breaker, is certainly quite a bit. Next, let's take a look at the LG Optimus Tab. This tablet differentiates itself from the others with a smaller 8.9 inch display. However, the key is that it supports 3D, a bite with glasses. While the requirement for glasses to view any 3D content is less than ideal, you can of course view content in standard 2D like other tablets. The Optimus Tab is going to come with support for T-Mobile 4G along with of course Wi-Fi and 32GB of internal storage. A very cool feature of the tablet is that in addition to having a standard front facing camera, it sports dual 5 megapixel rear facing cameras which can record up to 1080p 3D video. The Optimus Tab is powered by the same 1GHz Tegra 2 processor from the Zoom which will give it plenty of grunt to go through 1080p 3D video. It is scheduled to be on sale during the first quarter of this year for an undisclosed and likely very expensive price. Lastly, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. The latest Galaxy Tab sports a brand new 10.1 inch display, giving it a very similar size and shape to the Motorola Zoom. In fact, you can compare it directly to the Zoom in many categories as it features the same 1GHz dual core Tegra 2 processor, same 1280x800 resolution, along with 32GB of internal storage and support for HSPA+. On the other hand, you won't find a standard USB port or HDMI on this, nor will you see a slot for a micro SD card for expanding the memory. The Galaxy Tab does have some nice looks going for it, along with a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a higher resolution 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash that's capable of 1080p video capture. The key here, I believe, will be the price as with the smaller feature set it really does need to undercut the zoom in the price department. So that wraps it up. Personally, I'm keeping an eye on the zoom as it seems like right now it's going to offer the best ratio of tablet to cash, especially once the Wi-Fi model comes around to knock some of the price off. 